The reason we look at GenSet heaters as an opportunity for energy efficiency is it's a requirement for GenSets that they stay at a certain temperature so that when you want to fire them up in an emergency, they're ready to go. You get uh, easier, uh, more flexible installations where you locate your heater and your pump. You get a more even heat of the engine. We find that the forced circulation heater reduces the wear and tear on the discharge hoses and clamps and all the fittings and it even can uh, save on some internal engine components because of the even circulation. Performance and reliability of the jacket water heaters is, is, is a big thing, especially to the end user and they want to see these things operate continuously without any issues and that's where forced circulation comes into play. I think that the the fourth circulation heaters would work really well for a lot of our bigger products. They are, you know, healthcare industries. The block heater is very crucial so they can meet their 10 second start times. Thermal siphon heaters require strict adherence to installation uh, guidelines, proper hose routing, location of the heater. When we put a pump on a system and design a fourth circulation heater, those problems associated with installation are all eliminated and we can pretty much route hoses wherever we want and mount the heater wherever we want. With the high temperature of the outlet of a, of a thermal siphon heater, in some cases, depending on the installation, the coolant hoses can de degrade after some time. We have had a few issues with the hoses on the thermal siphon heaters sagging over time and limiting flow and tripping off. One limitation of thermal siphon heaters is where the coolant enters the engine gets very hot but then on the other end of the engine, you could have cold spots. There's a significant temperature gradient across the engine between the inlet and the outlet. We began our testing of the CSM, which is a larger preheating system, at a locomotive refueling depot. They have a 750 kW standby emergency generator set, and it used two thermal siphon heaters, one on each side of the engine, and we were able to replace that with a single force circulation system. They had had a lot of issues with maintenance in deteriorating hoses and actually poor performance. What we found was a reduction in electrical usage of about 29% in addition to the benefits of reduced maintenance, which was really key for them. So they chose at the conclusion of the testing to take off the existing thermal siphon heaters and replace it with a single CSM. And it continued to this day, that's been a few years, it's operating just fine. We began working with Avista Utilities to document the electrical savings of force circulation heaters versus thermal siphon heaters. The testing that we did was to monitor the amount of energy that was being drawn by the heater system in a gen set. How much energy are you pulling over time and what is the temperature of your gen set? So we pursued two projects, one to document savings on large gen set installations and another to document it on small Jensen installations. And that proved to save in the neighborhood of about 30 to 35 percent in electrical usage. With the additional benefits of actually improving the way we were heating the engine, and it also results long term in reduced maintenance and improved reliability of the whole heating system and components of the engine. What we found was all the temperature moves to the top of the gen set and you see hot spots and cold spots, whereas with a pumped unit, we see an even amount of heat throughout the entire block. We have seen savings in the range of 25 to 35 percent. We did some testing with Western States. They were gracious enough to take two of their brand new generators, 4.4 liter CAT engines. We installed some of the original forced circulation heaters here at Western States. With the data received from those field follow units, we've found the customer to have a savings of up to 30 percent. We did an absolute direct comparison between a 1500-watt thermal siphon and a 1500-watt force circulation heater. We were able to demonstrate a savings of about 25% in electrical and a more even heat of their engines, basically an overall more efficient system. I think one of the biggest features of this new force circulation heater is that people are going to realize electrical savings. Every little bit counts in today's world, so we're gonna to continue to see a demand for reduced electrical consumption. Block heaters are usually a concern for many customers because of their being on 24 hours, seven days a week. So the use of something more efficient would definitely benefit all ranges of generator sizes. 
Facility managers, anywhere they can save money in this day and age with of high power costs is a big advantage. Definitely, in this day and time, energy usage is a big factor for many residents and businesses. Our customers place a high value on response, and that's where Hot Start has really found a niche. I consider Western States to be a lucky dealership because we're in the hometown of where Kim Hot Start's facility is. We have a direct relationship with them. We help them and they help us with many different field follow issues and support issues. Everyone I've worked with at Kim Hot Start has been top drawer. All the people who here have really care about what they do. And I love that kind of a uh, spirit. And so I like being around the people here at Kim Hot Start. We'll do just about anything to benefit the customers and to respond to them in a timely manner. The number one reason I like Kim Hot Start is because the people are really easy to deal with and they're, they're really fast at getting the product out to us when we're in a pinch. 